This is Jim Emter, Van Onnen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with your Closing Grain and Livestock comments for August 21st, 2018. Well, back and forth is where we go, a tug of war between the Farm pro uh, Crop Progress Tour, um, Chinese delegation coming in tomorrow, and then just uh, uh, concerns over the tariffs or lack thereof. We get news that Mexico should uh, conclude this week, but yet we see very little activity as we've heard that for two to three weeks. And when we say activity, we talk about a finalization of a deal. We'll see what the Chinese delegation has to say. Uh, just a lot moving around the markets. Uh, the bull will talk a little bit about uh, the potential of these tariffs bringing more demand and more demand coming regardless due to the EU problem. But when the EU wheat price is down overnight, that drags on our markets and that really stems to be the problem for wheat. Uh, corn market down two to two and a quarter, beans down six to seven and a quarter, Minneapolis wheat down six to seven, Kansas City, Chicago down 12 to 15. When you look to uh, kind of the direction here for the rest of the week, I look for more of this choppy action. We'll watch the pro crop progress tour uh, in that regards, and then we'll keep an ear to the ground on these uh, tariffs. There's not much more, and look for a choppy range bound market, but that's the key. We see these markets as stuck in a range for the near term, with really December corn being in this 365 uh, to 390 area. The bean market uh, 860 to 920 and the wheat market uh, you know in this really 5 to 510 area with upside uh, 550 560 and we're just stuck here um, feeder cattle market uh, down anywhere from 10 to 45 live cattle mixed hog market mixed and we were firm in the back months up 70 to 80 in April and June uh, so there again we're just uh, trying to extend on the cattle rally we're near the upper end of the charts right now we tried to get up and get going but struggled to extend right now packer margins are very strong and I think that can drag this market if they decided to come in here and bid up uh, for some cattle and uh, struggle to get those but I think we need a good export sales this week and the hog market I think we got all revved up on some of these news of Mexico and China possibly coming to the table and concluding a deal specifically with Mexico but we don't have the final results and that's why hogs are struggling to extend so up against resistance for the near term that should remain at around 56 dollars until some of this news breaks in the december hog market this has been jim emter van on company alexander minnesota trading in futures and options is involved involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers past performance is not indicative of future results this is a solicitation have a great afternoon